What's cracking? It's fine trends here, and today we'll be looking at five scammers who got exposed on camera. Before we start, make sure you drop a like and a sub, and let us know if you've ever been scammed or if you've ever scammed somebody. Also, don't forget about our $25 Amazon gift card giveaway this month. To enter, all you have to do is click that link below. Without further ado, let's get right into this video. In the number five spot, we have a psychic who got exposed. They set her up to make it look like she was looking for a missing child, but she actually wasn't. When she got caught, she tried to act really confused, but in reality, she knew what the hell happened. Honestly, as a psychic, you're a terrible person for giving people false hope like that. We showed her a photo of this missing girl, and she agreed to take the case for 400 bucks. But I think it's solvable. But what Lori didn't know was that the photo our producer gave her was actually a childhood photo of me. One of the first things I do in a case, Lisa, is I always make sure people know that if I feel the person is living or not. And so you'll always know yes. when you talk to a family member, when you start a case, you'll know if this person is dead yes. or alive. And that's the point. Is that Every I, time. Yes. But apparently her psychic abilities didn't see this coming. Lori, I'm going to show you something. Okay. Okay. Yes. Does this girl look familiar to yes, you? Yes, she does. I worked this case. This is a girl who you said was beaten and killed. Okay. This little girl is me. And you told somebody that she's dead. Wait a minute. You didn't disappear? I'm right here. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? How do you explain being completely wrong? I can't wrong? explain it. I can't explain it. You're charging them hundreds of dollars. Okay. You know what, dear? Hundreds of dollars. Done. You're taking advantage of okay. desperate people with a bunch of hocus okay. pocus, aren't you? No, I'm not. I think we'll go. Thank you. It's been an interesting experience. You all have a lovely, lovely evening. In the number four spot, we have a man trying to act like he's homeless. But in reality, he drives a nice ass car and lives in a pretty nice house. Honestly, this is fucked up because there are people out there who are actually struggling. Funny thing is, these scammers love to act like they don't know what happened. You damn well know what you did. Cross that street. Oh, oh, oh. oh look, 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 look. You got money, you got money, you got money. I've actually never seen this guy before. Uncle John said he's... Oh, they look at him. that. There's another oh, score right there, right? There you go. Bam. That's him. That's him. That is definitely him. Holy crap. Here too, because uh, we're not mic'd, you're not mic'd. Right. Stand over by them so it's not like intrusive. I'll oh, be like, yeah. You're fine. What? Yeah. Don't move. No, go back. How are you doing? Oh. Good, how are you? Doing okay, I can help you. Is this your, I'm just curious, is this your house? No, it's a friend of my house. I think I saw you over here on the corner. I'm holding up a sign. You might, no way, you it might remember no, holding up a sign. I don't think it was yeah. you, man. Anything helps, I think, or something? Did you oh, help me out? Like a homeless thing? No. So didn't. it was you then. I saw you get into what looked like sort of a nice car and then come here. I saw what you so parked you there. So you say that to have a nice car and, and stay in a nice house, I can't pull, put up a sign? The problem is the problem? there's a lot of people that really that really have actual legitimate needs who are out like really trying to get help. My uncle thought that he saw you the other day get into a nice white car and didn't know where you live, so we thought it would be interesting to find out where you live, and so we followed you. So, you seem like you're a little f***ing jealous of me, bro. Is that what it is? No, no. You come into my house and you question me about what I did all day today. If you if you literally couldn't have a Dude, job... Dude, I made this f***ing sign that I earned money. You made money. the sign. Are you kidding me right yes, now? Yes! I made the f***ing sign. I've asked you nicely to get off my f***ing porch. I'm, I'm getting Okay, now get serious, all right, dude. In the number three spot, we have a Craigslist iPhone scammer who got busted. He sold this man a stolen iPhone, but the guy came back because he wasn't dealing with this bullshit. Scammer claims he didn't know what he was doing and he wasn't trying to scam him, but that's bull crap. I got this phone from you yesterday. I put it on my wife's line. Uh -huh. They deactivated my entire AT&T account because it was reported stolen. So here's our choices today. Okay. I either want my 560 okay. or I want this phone. You pick. And if this one's reported stolen, he filmed you pull it up. Okay. He's got you on camera now. We got this car and I will find you. Okay. So those are the options. Which one do you want to go with? I'll work with you. I'm just like, uh, if you so want those to Those are the options. 560 right now. Okay. Or I'm going to take this phone. And it better not be stolen. You got me coming all the way down here because you tried to fuck my assistant yesterday. 
I didn't mean to, bro. I wasn't. Those are the choices. Which one you want to go with? What's better for you? I can give you a 560 back right now. Give me the 560. Okay. Trust me. I didn't mean to do that, bro. I'm buying cell phones. I apologize. I'm going to give you 600. I really didn't mean to do that. In the number two spot, we have a woman with a pretty smart idea, and she's really bold as well. She walked in the store, grabbed a cooler, and tried to return it. Honestly, kudos to her for actually getting away with that shit, because my ass would have got caught on the spot. She was so nonchalant about it, she definitely does this on a daily basis. It takes guts to steal something from a store, but it takes even more guts to try to return something you never even bought. But that's what this duo tried to pull off on a busy day at Westlake Hardware back in October. In the video, you can see the two walk in empty-handed. The woman's shirt may say rock star, but let's not be too quick to assume that's what she is. Then they make their way to the coolers and then to the registers. And they proceed to walk up to the um, checkout stands and tell the clerk that they're returning that cooler cooler they never paid for. They just picked it up in the store and walked up there. They convinced the clerk that they're returning it. You know, something faulty with a plastic tub. But without a receipt, they can only get a store gift card. And just like that, they're on their way to free money. Um, I, I think that that was a, a bold or a, a eye opener for us. We're, we're not, we don't see that all the time. During the checkout, the woman tries to lift up the cooler, but when she places it back down, she knocks over something. Then we see her bend over to help pick it up. It's definitely a different side of her that we haven't seen, but at least she was nice enough to clean up her mess, whatever that was. Her accomplice has been identified as William Smedley and has already been arrested. However, he's not tattling on his partner in crime. And finally, in the number one spot, we have a high school scam artist. Not in high school anymore, but when he was, he scammed people out of millions of dollars. Yeah. I was thinking, I feel really special. I'm in school and I couldn't wait to get home and uh, continue running this company. I felt like a CEO. A Mission Viejo teenager is in trouble with the law after the Security and Exchange Commission accused him of defrauding people out of millions of dollars. Suddenly Cole found himself in hot water, but he was also in the news and loving every minute of it. At first I thought it was uh, awesome. <laughs> the teacher was coming up to me and asking for my autograph that first day on campus after the news broke. And what kind of teacher was he? An economics teacher. He got lucky. First time out, the SEC let him go. But teenage Cole had tapped into something dark and exciting. He found he could make a lot of money breaking the rules and he was good at it. I had finally accomplished my goal of being a, a millionaire by the end of high school. Uh, I've been saying that since I was 14, that I, that was my goal. It sounds ridiculous, but to me, I knew I could do it. No one ever taught me any of these things. One by one, they all came to me. At 19, he was at it again. He attempted to embezzle $400,000 from a Mission Viejo bank to fund more gambling. I'm walking to my car, and uh, all of a sudden, it's a scene out of a movie. You know, there's two or three cop cars and 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 guy gets out and says, put your hands up and he's got a gun he's pointing it and I was just like and I'm just I'm just out of my mind well that's all for today and I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure you drop a like and a sub and let us know what you think the best way to scam somebody is also don't forget about our $25 Amazon gift card giveaway this month the link is below to enter peace